The United Nations tonight says the Department of Homeland Security's efforts to protect this country from terrorists go simply too far. The United Nations says U.S. Border Patrol agents should not have the power to return illegal aliens who are apprehended in this country to their own. The United Nations says that would be simply unfair to illegal aliens. Casey Wyan has the report from Los Angeles. The Homeland Security Department is expanding an illegal alien deportation program already in use at airports to the U.S. border. It gives Border Patrol agents the authority to immediately deport recently arrived illegal aliens who are not Mexican or Canadian. The U.N. says it's concerned the Border Patrol won't respect the rights of aliens claiming political asylum. Our concern would be is if people are detained, there may be a great deal in terms of the fear, um, the tension, insecurity, lack of translators, uh, a whole number of factors that could lead to possibly um, erroneous or incomplete interviews that would not allow people to have a full opportunity to have asylum. Obviously, the UN's number one concern is not the national security of the United States. Immigration experts say expanding the expedited removal program is long overdue because it allows the Border Patrol to weed out obvious false asylum claims. Right now what we're doing is if somebody's caught on the border and they're not from Mexico or Canada, Mexico or Canada won't take them back. So now we're stuck with them. If that person then applies for asylum, we don't have in general the, enough detention space to hold them, though we should. And so those individuals, even individuals from the Middle East, are being paroled into the United States without first establishing their identity. During the mid-90s, hundreds of thousands of illegal aliens from China and other countries exploited the asylum process with false claims. It was an easy ticket to entry and often a work visa. Some of the culprits in the first World Trade Center bombing entered the United States on political asylum claims. Asylum officers were so understaffed, they faced a backlog of 460,000 cases in 1996. The system has since been reformed, and the backlog has dropped to 260,000. But problems persist. One of the two men arrested at a New York mosque and charged in a terrorist money laundering plot this month was an Iraqi who was granted political asylum by the United States. The U.N. says it's discovered instances of asylum seeker abuse at U.S. airports. However, an official in the Department of Homeland Security says the agency categorically denies that legitimate political asylum claims will be affected by the new Border Patrol policy. Lou? Casey, just exactly what is the United Nations trying to do here? What they say is they want to get their concerns heard by the Department of Homeland Security. They want a meeting with the Department of Homeland Security. They want to make sure that Border Patrol agents are well trained in dealing with these asylum requests. Now, if you talk to the department, they will say that some of these requests are so obviously bogus that it doesn't take any training at all to realize that they're phony. Lou? And why would the United Nations not just talk to the State Department rather than actually trying to step in and uh, have conversations with branches, uh, agencies of the U.S. government? That's peculiar. Yeah, it, it, it is strange. They say they have a good working relationship with the Department of Homeland Security, but by criticizing this policy publicly, you wonder how well that relationship is going to go uh, going forward. Casey Wyan, thank you. That brings us to the subject of our poll tonight. Should the United Nations have any influence on U.S. border security and immigration policy? Yes or no? Cast your vote at CNN.com slash Lou. We'll have the results coming up here later in the broadcast. Taking a look now at some of your thoughts on the issue of broken borders. Pamela Mann in Pickney, Michigan. I'm tired of hearing how unfair our laws are toward illegal aliens. They're here illegally. I'd like to see more people fight for the rights of the immigrants who come here legally and for the rights of the American people. Randy Chrisman of Arosi, California. If an American citizen does something illegal, we are fine to go to jail. So why should people who are here illegally be rewarded with anything? Send us your thoughts at Dobbs at CNN.com. Coming up next, the results of a presidential recall in a foreign country.